So on Sunday, uh, Felix Baumgartner, after five years in the making, um, went up into 24 miles above Earth and jumped. Uh, amazing feat, uh, sponsored entirely by Red Bull. Uh, in the process, collected a handful of records, including the highest man balloon flight, fastest free fall, and is now the only man in history to have broken the speed of sound without any sort of propulsion. A lot of different records and things. Is this actually going to be a good thing for Red Bull? I mean, they presumably put a lot of money into this. Absolutely. Um, they've been spending you know, millions of dollars over the last five years producing all the equipment that went into this um, and funding the entire project, including the live streaming of the event. Um, interestingly, they don't have any real direct payoff. Uh, they didn't collect any tickets uh, like, or sell any tickets like they do for most of their events. They stream the event live for everyone around the world to watch. Um, but I think it's still going to be a massive payoff for the brand. They had 8 million live viewers on YouTube. Uh, their front page news around the world today is you know, reaching beyond this sort of action sports sphere into the daily news and pop culture. So I think that that's going to be a huge boon for the, uh, for the brand moving forward, especially because no one's going to forget about this event for a long time to come. So their sponsorship, even though it costs a lot of money up front, over the long term people will continue to know Red Bull for energy and for extreme sports and all these different things absolutely. that they want. Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, the brand has long been associated with action sports. Uh, they fund different showcases every year. They have a New Year's uh, event every year. Um, Travis Pastrana, a few years back, broke the record for longest rally car jump there. Um, they put on different events like the Flug Tag, which is more of a uh, joking event where fans come and try and fly off a uh, giant, uh, fly off into a harbor on their man-made flying machines. So they constantly sponsor these action sports events from you know the farcical to the record breaking like we saw on Sunday. This is just the greatest uh, event they've had yet to associate their brand with those action sports. And certainly got a lot of attention. Absolutely. So Brian, can you tell us a little bit about where Red Bull came from? So Red Bull is interesting. It created two billionaires um, uh, from across the world. So what actually happened is there was this guy Dietrich Mateschitz and he was a marketing executive um, for a few different companies and he traveled all around the world. And he got to Thailand and he you know, got off the plane and he had horrible jet lag. And he realized if he took this local drink that was really popular in Thailand and other countries in Asia, it sort of cured his jet lag. It gave him a lot of energy. And uh, he realized, hey, maybe I can sell this. So he teamed up with a guy who had become his uh, fellow billionaire, uh, Chilea uh, Yuvidaya. And, um, who actually just passed away recently this year. But together, they put together this company where Uvidaya had the drink experience of making a beverage like this, and uh, Mateschitz had the marketing experience. So can you tell me a little bit about how Mateschitz decided to get into all of these action sports adventures? So this was all his idea. I mean, he's really the billionaire behind Red Bull in this sense. He created the company's whole image. And what he did was he said, you know, we don't have to compete against Coca-Cola and Pepsi and other you know, beverages that are already out there. We have to create our own market. And you know, he had a research team that said, nobody likes your brand and nobody likes your product, nobody likes anything. And he said, no, I'm gonna go with it. And he created the name Red Bull, he created you know, the slogan, Red Bull gives you wings. And he decided ultimately to start funding all these different projects which would lead to things like this big jump. I guess you'd say his, uh, his decision to kick out the marketing team and do it his own way has been pretty successful? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can tell he's a marketing executive of his own coming from a traditional side, but he decided to go his own way and to do things totally differently. And, you know, he sponsored all these events that you talked about in terms of big, big sporting events, big extreme sports. He targeted the student market. He targeted bars, saying you can mix Red Bull with alcohol and make it into a thing there. So, you know, he really had a a very different attitude towards it and it made him into a billionaire.